Okay, today I'm going to show you a few tricks how to get a wheel nut, a wheel bolt off and a wheel nut on. The first trick is to just use some penetrating blaster or a PB blaster, whatever you have to knock corrosion off or to help get it loose. So you want to put your nut on, that way you get the most surface area to knock it out. And you also don't want to just do it straight up and to hit it, because if you do that, you'll end up mushrooming the end and then uh, if you're going to reuse that, you don't want to do that. So uh, you don't want to put it on too far, otherwise you'll again mushroom it out. So, And you don't want it just a few threads on, that way you ruin the threads also. So you want it on just a little past the, the end there and then you just hit it a few good times with the hammer. About one to you know three good hits, powerful hits, should get it off. Now to get, get one on is a little bit different. There's a few things you can do. And the one I have is easy. So you see this gap in the back and then uh, you want to get rid of that. So you can either put everything together, get your wheel on, and then tighten it all down to spec, but you're not sure if this tightens all the way back. So another way to do this is uh, you grab a few washers, you put them on, and then you just drive your nut down. That's, uh, that's okay, but you're not going to really have, uh, this is going to be turning, so it's going to be a little hard. What I do is grab a 13 millimeter or anything that goes around the diameter of the bolt, put it on, and just rest it against something. That way you have leverage, you know. So next thing you want to do is grab the, the wheel nut and put it on backwards. That way you have the most surface area hitting this crescent wrench as possible. Tighten it as much as possible by hand. And then just do the rest. Like I said, this is a nice way to make sure you have leverage. And if you need to, get some extra leverage, put your foot on there, and then just keep tightening. And that'll pull the back of it towards the front. And as you can see, that gap is now gone. There's no more gap in the back. And just to get it off, you just rotate the hub around, grab this again, and then just hit the opposite way. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Nice, tight wheel hub bolt with no gap. Just a crescent wrench a nut and one of these babies so I'll have more tips and tricks in the future keep tuned